and in Wausau, members of the Marathon County Sheriff's Office are honored for their life-saving measures. News 9's Brittany Slaughter joins us there now. Brittany? Yeah, well, whether it's bringing forth justice years later or keeping people safe and alive in dangerous situations, these deputies and officers were honored today for their hard work. In October, corrections officer Mark Jacobson was making the rounds at the Marathon County Jail when he noticed an inmate on the floor of his cell. And I walked past the cell and the, and the person that was in there didn't appear to be in a natural position, which I thought was very unusual. After receiving no response when checking on him, Jacobson discovered a ripped up towel tied tightly around the man's neck. Something's going on, so the first thing I want to do is get additional officers for support, uh, whatever I need, also medical staff. Jacobson calling for a 911 knife to help get the towel off the man. I had radio for medical staff to respond as well to get the, the person the proper care that they needed. Those quick actions saving the man's life and earning Jacobson the Sheriff's Department's life-saving award. Jacob saying he was humbled. I feel that I was felt like I was just doing my job. I felt like uh, I didn't do anything that my coworkers themselves wouldn't have done. Jacobson wishing the inmate he saved well. I just hope the gentleman that I helped that he conquers the demons that are that he's dealing with and lives on and prospers. Jacobson said ultimately his goal is to serve and protect, whether it's people in the community or in the jail. Live in Marathon County, Brittany Slaughter, News 9, WAOW. Thank you, Brittany. Other deputies were also honored at today's ceremony. Lieutenant Mark Wagers uh, and Deputy Kyle McCullen were awarded the Sheriff's Medal of Honor, and Deputy Nathan Oleg was awarded the Sheriff's Medal of Valor all for their roles in ending a standoff and shooting incident in January at the Rib Mountain Days Inn, helping the person who shot at them after they fired back. Our primary purpose is to protect and to serve and to make sure that, you know, uh, people are able to conduct their lives, you know, without, you know, the fear of being victimized by, by crime. <clears throat> Also earning praise, Detective Dennis Blazer, who was given a commendation for his work bringing justice in the Ken Yedis homicide with Cindy Schultz-Yedis found guilty last month, 15 years after her husband's death.